Hello, 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 and how are you doing? I'm back on it, guys. I'm back on it. Welcome to today's video. My name is Sana Mogeshe, and the channel is bringing hope in life. As usual, very, very much excited. Yes, excited because I know I have been impacting somebody. I know I've been helping somebody. I know I have been empowering somebody somewhere. So I'm back here with a very educative and informative video. I have done one video about back to school. Remember guys, you're back to school and happy new year. Happy paying school fees. <laughs> happy <laughs> taking about care of our children. I hope you followed the tips that I gave. I hope you did the simple step of making sure that your child is comfortable in school. That's all what I talked about that video of parenting in school and away from school. Yes, guys. And today I'm on it again. I am still talking about going back to school and back to school. Because when our children go back to school, we all go back to school, guys. Yes, we all go back to school. And uh, I hope my audio is enough. And I, I hope I am clear enough. I hope... Uh, mm -hmm. Yes, you have subscribed to this channel. My name is Anna Mogeshe. Uh, with a lot of ooms with a lot of power, with a lot of energy that the Lord has given me this year to ensure that we can empower and educate each other, guys. And above all, we can cancel with the hope because Anna Mogeshe is a counselor. I do one-on-one -on -one counseling and face-to-face. Uh, -face. I do individual couples and marriages and, uh, of course, teenagers because that is where my passion is. The family matters is what I'm passionate about. And that is the, 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 the basis of our video for today. When I want to talk back to school again, I am passionate about it because I know how children suffer in school as an educator. I know what we have gone through because of 2020, um, the long holiday that we've had. But it's still a caution, don't look back to 2020. Let's forge ahead. Yes, to QK. Let's go ahead and forget about 2020. So the video for today, without any ado, I want us to talk about the importance of knowing your child's teacher. Did you know it is very important to know who teaches your children? Your child, that is. Did you know the importance of knowing who stays with your child for the longest period possible? If it is a boarding high school or day school, uh, day school boarding primary those women and men of god stay with your child for 90 percent of the day if it's a boarding school they stay with your child for a long time of three good months do you know them do you even know the class of your teacher i mean the, the class of your child not your teacher leave alone the name of the teacher do you know the class that your child is and that is the topic of today. This is the channel of hope. Once again, my name is Zana Mogeshe with a lot of energy 2021. Hello. Have you subscribed to this channel? Please do subscribe. My name is Zana Mogeshe, the counselor. I do one-on-one -on -one counseling. This is the channel of hope where we educate. I empower. I inspire. I counsel with hope because there's always hope. There's always light at the end of the tunnel. It doesn't matter how the situation is. Welcome to the video of today and don't forget to subscribe. Here it is. about the importance and how you can know the name of your teacher the title of the teacher that is teaching your child and the importance of it all because remember the, the the theme of these topics that i'm talking about going back to school is about the child it is about your daughter it is about your son those people that make you 
wake up very early in the morning to carry and swallow all the the insult, the abuse of your boss just because you want to see them comfortable. Let me make this. Yes. Oh, yeah. Guys, you know what? I'm tired of this hair. It is natural. That is on a lighter note. And uh, I'm really tired. Coming is a problem. I don't know what I'm going to do. Uh, going back to work. I don't know. I really don't know. But uh, uh, I'll know what to do. Because a solution must be fair. So, 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 do you know the name of the teacher that teaches your child? Do you know the class? Because some of these schools, especially when we come to public schools, the high school, remember I'm a stakeholder. So when I talk about this, I know what I'm talking about. And uh, when we talk about the public schools, they're as big as possible. They, they, we can have a form one which has five streams. Yes, and they all have names. So when you go to school and you ask the name of your daughter, and they ask you which class, and you start saying, I don't know KKM, I don't know what. I mean, you look like a fool in front of the teacher. I mean, your child is in Form 4 and you don't know the class he is in, she is in, then that shows how irresponsible you are. And you know what happens? If number one, you don't know the class of your teacher, I mean, the class of your child. Why do I keep on talking about the class of the teacher? Sorry about that. Just a slip of the tongue. Because these are two people that I'm talking about. I'm talking about a teacher. I am also talking about your daughter or your son. If you don't know the class of your daughter or your son, you lower their self-esteem. You make them have a negative attitude towards schooling. Why? Now, if my mom doesn't know the class I am, if my dad doesn't know the class I am, then what am I doing there? At least encourage them but by showing them that you know their class. And this is the only way you can know. Ask them. You, you've, you've, you've joined form three, which class did you join? You've joined class two, which class did you join? You've joined form four, which form four are you? Because sometimes it is changed. Come on, parents, know the class of your child. Oh God, if you don't know the class, do you even know the birthday? <laughs> Let me tell you something. I, I was watching another... Was it a video or it was a reality show? You know, these reality shows that we are glued into uh, uh, to, the, to the TV such that even, even if your child calls you, you cannot, <laughs> you cannot respond, Maria. <laughs> All those, uh, the soaps that us women and men, sometimes men, do you watch those things? <laughs> but then you guys, you can, uh, you can participate in this, uh, in this uh, topic by commenting on the comment se section let's discuss this topic that is affecting most of us let's discuss this topic that is affecting uh, most families so i was talking about this reality show that i was watching wash <laughs> kizugu came with a merry guys have you subscribed as i try to make the word come out properly please do subscribe yes subscribe have you? And this is the channel where we educate, we empower. Welcome to the video of today and may God bless you. As you are impacted and informed, subscribe to the channel and welcome to the topic of today. Participate, sit down and let us watch and talk together as you comment, as you ask questions, as you contemplate seeking for professional help if you really need it. Be smart enough and bold enough to know that you need help, even on parenting. And as you do that, don't forget to subscribe. Hit the thumbs up, notification so that you can be informed on when the videos come every Wednesday at 11, unless there's a problem with network, and Friday at 11. Do that, guys, and let us discuss about the topic of today. Yeah. Here it is, subscribe as I wait on you. Guys, my name is Amber Mugeshe and today I'm just here to remind you guys to subscribe to Amber Mugeshe the Counselor's channel. What are you waiting for? Subscribe because this is where 
you guys are going to be educated, inspired, counseled with hope. So what are you guys waiting for? Hit subscribe to my mom's YouTube channel, hit the notification bell and give us a thumbs up. Bye. So yep, I was talking about the importance. Are we, are we still talking about the importance of knowing the name of the teacher? And I started by talking about if you don't know the class of your child, then it, it doesn't boost them. It brings their esteem down. Mom, you don't know my class. I wonder if you also remember their, their birthdays, <laughs> which is very important for them anyway. So men, you are the problem. Here, it is very, very, very hard for a mother to forget the birthday of the child or the day the child was born. Is it mothers? Is it like that, women? Please let me know whether I'm wrong or right. I, I said I was glued into a reality show when I was watching. And uh, there, there, there's a lady that was pregnant. That it was a couple, actually. And uh, okay, I don't know whether they, they, here they forget. And uh, the lady was uh, talking. Uh, it was an interview, actually. And the lady was talking about being eight months pregnant. And I remember when the interviewer asked the, the, the man, about uh, how old is the pregnancy the man could not tell and i remember the man saying he she knows <laughs> oh god it's like it, darkness where is the darkness coming from <laughs> sorry my camera is misbehaving oh god so 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 the man just laughed laughed it off and he did not know how old is the pregnancy and uh, I remember also a man uh, had an interview with the doctor and he was asked I don't know whether the interviewers take this chance to ask about the birthdays of the children because most men forget yes even our own I remember this medical card that uh, my daughter my, my, my close to three year old daughter now when uh, my son my, 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 my hubby was feeling the the what I'm talking about the importance of, I'm not going off the topic, guys. I'm talking about the importance of knowing the class and the teacher who teaches with your, teaches your child. And I'm giving an example of how especially men forget. And uh, my husband was filling the, the medical card for my daughter, who is close to three years old now, and uh, wrote the wrong date of birth. <laughs> they only forget it. They only remember the year. Men, where are you? <laughs> Am I very harsh on you? In case you only remember the year, you don't remember the date. It is important to remember. As much as it is important, my camera is really behaving. Forgive it. Misbehaving, really. Dark, 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 and all that. And uh, guys, editing becomes an issue. By the way, have you subscribed? Eight months down the line, we are at 1.3. Why don't you make it 2K subscribers? Yes, guys. Hit on that subscribe description button which is the red in color thumbs up bell notification yes guys i hope you're not you're, you're not i hope you are you're not watching and you have not subscribed please do it this is how you encourage us to see that there are people who are watching our content the youtubers the content creators uh to see you're watching to the end because remember we need the watch time and uh, the wrong thing, once we get to 1K subscriber, does not guarantee you monetization. You need watch time. So those people who watch 30 seconds or 33 minutes, it will not help us. Okay, the, the issue is uh, not really helping, but to, to, to leave an impact on you guys. But you can support us by doing that. So, so you don't boost your child esteem when you don't know their class. You make it worse when you don't know the name of their teachers. You also make it worse when you don't attend the meetings when the school calls you. And you find that these children really want you to go. Academic clinic really wants you to know the parents meeting because they will be ashamed when the other children are told your parents come, came, but yours did not come. Yes. Why would you know the teacher? You guys, it's not a secret of what happened in 2020. 
We were fouled off guard by staying our children, especially those who were in boarding, for as long as 10 months, close to one year. It was off guard. I remember it was on a Sunday when they were told no schools tomorrow. And then the boarding schools were given two days to clear and leave the school. And bam, here are our children. We are not ready for them. You should always be ready for them. You know what? I will give you an example on what, on what I do. Sometimes our domestic workers really disturb us, especially when they know that we work 24-7. They really want to leave us. But I always have this notion in my head. These children are my children and not us. Please have that rule and that power to own your boys and girls, your daughters and sons. Own them here. Whether you work 24-7, when you, whether you work two hours, whatever time you work, own those children and make sure that they are yours. Don't leave them for teachers. Now, why would you want to know the name of the teacher? Because this is the man or woman who lives with your child 90% of the day, 100% of the time, if it's in a boarding school, and you leave your child under their care but you leave every responsibility on them. You don't even want to know what is happening. It is not a wonder that your child entered class one and left class eight when you as a parent never got in that school. Is it possible? It is. It is very possible. You've never been in school. Guys, uh, am I harsh? You know, I am passionate about uh, family matters and I am very much passionate about kids because I love kids. I told you I have three, so I love kids. Don't forget to subscribe. So if I'm very, very harsh on the counselor's insights, I am trying to make this generation that us parents are trying to leave aside. Always be ready for your child at home. Be ready for the midterm. Be ready for the holiday. Be ready for the eventualities. Eventualities like this one of COVID when our children were told to go home. In definitely. We didn't know when we were supposed to open. It's close to one year we've been with your child. I mean, there are people who take their children to boarding school because they have no time for them. Own your children, guys. Own your children because one day, one time, you've been working 24-7. You'll be wondering what you're working for because you lost them. It's very easy for you to lose your kids. I remember talking to a parent whose child was in class, uh, I think, 7. And uh, she was telling me how the child was. And they took that child to boarding school when she was in class 3. I'm not saying that boarding schools are bad. I am saying you work 24-7, you're not in the country, you're out of the country. You don't care about what happens to your child in school. You should care. Because if you're working hard for that one child, or two children, or three children, or more children, one day, one time, you regret what you're doing. Because you lose them. Remember, at the tender age of the lower, before they go to high school, before they go to university, is a time when you're supposed to board with your children. But you never boarded. You are not there for those children. So you wonder 24-7, what are you working for? I, I remember uh, when Wangari Madai died, she talked about her children. She didn't have time for their children. I hope that is true because I, I read it somewhere. So, so, so you can be a senior person there. You can be a senior person in the office. You can be a senior person wherever, 24-7, but your children own them. Because one day, one time, you look for them and you'll not find them. This is how we lose our kids. Simple. Know the name of the teacher. Know how they're dealing with your children. Know the relationship so that it is always, if they're there with 100% with the teacher, 90% for the day school, the teacher is very able to see. It's very easy for the teacher to see the changes in your child. So what does this mean? Keep on talking to the teacher of your child if it's in the boarding. Know the teacher personally, not professionally. Professionally, yes, and personally so that any changes that the, ch the teacher notices on your child, you will be informed. But who will inform you if you don't even know the class and you don't know the teacher? You're less concerned. So everything is left for the teacher. And you know some of these things that the teacher cannot do. Remember, corporal punishment is not done nowadays. We are dealing with counseling. We cancel our kids. So, so, so in one video when I was talking about parenting, please do subscribe and watch. 
uh, I talked about you pay the counselor like me to talk to your child because you're unable to talk to your child. You pay a lawyer to speak on behalf of your child in the court of law because you are unable to speak to your child. They are in school 100%, yes, when they are in boarding school three months. Sometimes they come for one week for, for midterm, I think. If they don't come for the midterm, they are three months. Please, make the teacher the eye of your child. Because it will be very easy for the teacher to know the changes that your child have. It will be very easy for the, for, for the teacher to know that your child is on drugs in school. And the teacher will inform you guys. The teacher will inform you. So it's simple. Just know the name of the teacher. Just know the teacher one-on-one. -on -one. Discuss it even through the phone. You are outside the country. You are not outside the country. Just make a phone call and know how your child is doing. And this is what we are bringing up to uh, guys. Bringing up drugs in school. Children who are burning schools. Because they are tired. And you think they are burning schools because they don't want school. You are the people who are letting them burn the school. Parents. Because you are not there for them. You never listen to them. You're not there for them to talk to you. Am I harsh enough? Yes, this is exactly what is happening. Parent your children, guys. Parent your children. Talk to your children. Do parenting at home and in school. And I've given you a very good insight. Talk to the teacher. Know the changes that your child have. Right now, they're going back to school or they're back to school. They're already back to school, yes. And uh, after a long holiday, you have your daughter. You don't know what your daughter is doing. Your daughter could be pregnant. I'm sorry. So it is the teacher to know what is happening and the changes and all that before your daughter tries to abort or do such things. Your boy, your daughter have been on drugs. You never know. So when they go back to school, the teacher will be easy to know, to tell the changes of behavior. And this is where the counseling is coming. And that is what the Ministry of Health the Ministry of Education are talking about counseling the kids so that the behavior they were doing in school at home could not be brought in school and the teachers are able to shape them. But without your support, there's nothing the teacher will do. So the teacher is going to streamline them, to shape them. Back home for the holiday, they go back to the behavior. Where are you parents? Where are you guardians? No! The class of your, teacher, uh, of your child, know the name of your child, know the name of the school for heaven's sake. Men, all women who don't care about whether the students are schooling. We are talking about parenting. We are talking about knowing the names of the teachers who are with your child. And in the mighty name of Jesus, may God give you the grace. May God give you the strength. To do it, whether you work 24-7, when you're there, you have lost your job, you have lost your business. These children are our business. And when they are affected, when the state, the family is affected, the family affair is affected, I said the state is also affected. And we are all affected. So have I educated you? Thank you so much if you have watched to this far. May God bless you, may God keep you, and may God bless our children in school as we parent and take care of them. Subscribe and don't forget to comment. Bye.